as you're doing your bidding, so first of all, as we know, there's three components, right? There's labor component, there's a materials component, and then there's a contingency component to, to all, all projects. Believe it or not, I've seen some pretty large construction companies not factor in contingency. And that is something that you definitely always want to have in there. But the other really big, big mistake that I see in the bidding component of a project is not accounting for overhead costs. And this is, this is a big, big deal. So what I'm talking about is things that maybe people don't think about all the time is owned equipment. So, Hey, I own a truck and that truck's going to be on the job. We're not renting it. We're not subcontracting that to an, another company. So we're just going to use our, our own equipment. And that is not included into the project cost, but it's a real cost because you have maintenance, you have registrations, you have insurance, like there's all of these things. And then you have depreciation. And so adding owned equipment is a big one. Inventory from stock. Hey, you know, we've got an extra, I mean, and it could be something small. Hey, just go grab a box of nails off of the, out of the shop really quick because we're short a box of nails. Those kinds of things, like those are the bleeds that happen with your inventory from stock. And it could be big too. It could be, you know, we've got a, a truckload of lumber that we have, and we're just going to use that as opposed to going out and buying it, but we're not included into our bidding. So those are some of the examples. Shop and yard time. There's prep that happens in the shop, prep that happens in the yard, and we're not factoring that into our labor costs. I mean, there's real time that the guys have. And I was actually working with a concrete subcontractor, and this was a big deal as we started looking through it. I'm like, well, your guys are in the shop for, or they're sitting in the yard prepping for that hour, hour and a half before they're going out to the job that morning. Why are we not factoring that in? Like that's still time that they're working on the project, even though they're not on site. Transportation and lodging, your project estimator. That's another big one that doesn't, that doesn't get included a lot. And then little things like employee cell phones and mileage and uniforms and all these little burdens and then consumables and small tools, like your hammers and your drills and straps and, you know, all the different things that are needed on that, on that construction job. And the reason why. I, I like to focus on this is because generally speaking, we can get a five to 10% bump in gross profit just by adding these in, into the project bid. And if you think about that, if, if you're a million dollar or, or 2 million or 3 million, you're looking at, you know, 200 to $300,000 over the course of a year that goes straight to your bottom line.